One of the nation's organic food pioneers got its start right here in the Bay Area. Amy's Kitchen is so popular, the founders opened up a fast food restaurant, and now they have a plan to expand. But they've hit a bit of a snag. KPI X5 reporter Emily Turner is live in Corte Madera with what they're facing. Emily? Well, if you've driven and spent any time on 101 here in Marin County, you'll notice something is conspicuously absent, and that is drive throughs Except yet, this one right here wants to turn itself into an Amy's, and it's a lot less controversial than you might think. If there's a fast food that fits Marin County, Amy's is it. But the drive through portion of the vegan, all-organic eatery does not. It's against Corte Madera's zoning ordinance. But locals say they hope the city will waive the restriction in the name of healthier eating. I'm super excited. I was bummed that Denny's was gone because it's really convenient being across the street from where I work. So I'm excited. I'm stoked. The proposed site is that of an old Denny's just off 101 at the Paradise Drive exit. An application hasn't officially been submitted, so neither the city nor the restaurant would go on camera. But a meeting is scheduled for tomorrow to hear from locals about what they think. We're going to have a lot of, you know, options to eat now. So for anyone who's working here, we can enjoy a healthier meal and not have to worry about, you know, going further away to the mall where it's already jam-packed and there isn't a drive through so it's not as convenient for all of us to get what we want. The city planner says most people he's talked to feel the same way, although it would mean major changes changes to the area. According to documents provided by Corte Madera, there would be a 19-car drive through a 3,700-square-foot restaurant with outdoor seating, and expanded parking. It would look much like the one in Rohnert Park. So while the deal, if approved, may bring changes, those that live and work nearby say the overhaul is going to be a much-needed facelift. We're not going to have a lot of street parking because employees have been parking here for a while, but um, it's just an adjustment we all have to get used to. It's either that or it stays abandoned forever. And back out here live, you can see crews who are doing some t soil testing. That's done by the owner, should this Amy's deal go through. Now, if you live in the community and you want to give your input, there is a meeting tomorrow night, 730 at the Corte Madera Town Center, and you are more uh, than invited to show up. Reporting live in Corte Madera, Emily Turner, KPIX 5.